everybody. Uh, today I want to talk about some differences between a couple of different knives. I've seen a lot of buzz on online about Beavercraft and New Urban. So um, I actually have both of these knives here. Um, this Beavercraft I purchased a couple months ago uh, from Amazon just so I can kind of see what all the buzz is about. Uh, people talking about it and how good it was. So I I purchased one. Um, overall, it's not a bad carving knife. Recently, I was sent a kit from New Urban that was the Christmas tree and Santa carving kit, uh, which comes with basically, I, I would call this a Sloyd knife. And then also uh, what looks like to me to be a chip carving knife. So both these knives were in the kit. Um, the price really, I, I I don't really remember what I paid for the uh, Beavercraft knife. I think it was like twenty two to twenty eight dollars. Um, this kit from New Urban was sent to me for free, uh, but I do think that it's I think it's twenty six or twenty seven dollars online if you buy the kit, um, which is this kit right here. Anyway, I'm not sponsored by either one of these companies. Um, I'm just giving my opinion about them. So people had said that, you know, New Urban was copying Beavercraft, vice versa. Um, I, I, I kind of want to say that I'm not really sure who's copying who because here's a flex cut knife that I'm sure if they wanted to, they could probably put a little bit longer blade in it. But if you look at these, these styles are very similar. Um, Likewise, the new Urban Knife. I mean, they've got a similar style shape of handle. Um, the Flex Cut Knife I've had for years, and I use this when I do lettering on signs and, and different things like that, or relief carvings. I'll pull this guy out. So I don't really think it's a matter of who's copying who. Um, I, I think it's what are you trying to get to? Um, ultimately, many of you may agree or disagree with me, but Helvey, when it comes to wood carving knives, is the leader in the industry. So if you look at these two, I mean, you can see the differences in, in the finish between one knife to the other. It's pretty obvious. Um, and even if we look at the flex cut with the same style of handle, you can look at the fit and finish here. Neither one are bad. I'm not saying that that Beavercraft is awful. Uh, this one's the the uh, new Urban is a little bit closer to the flex cut. Has the same type of feel to it. Uh, so it kind of reminds me of the flex cut knife. The difference is is that this Beavercraft is a high carbon steel and the new Urban is a stainless steel. So for the amount of time that I've used them, they've both performed very well. I've not had any issues with them whatsoever. For a beginner getting into wood carving, either one of these knives will work. I mean, you can see the differences in the styles of the blades. Um, and if you wanted to get down to it, you could probably regrind the new urban if you're a seasoned wood carver you could grind this to a bevel that you prefer uh, it's not hard to do you just gotta take an inexpensive knife and regrind it do you want to do that no you don't but for a beginner this is a knife that will get them going this is a knife that will get them going as well. So, I mean, you can see, hopefully you can see there in the light, that the bevel length is about the same. Um, this one reminds me a lot of a flex cut style of knife where they've got this bigger bevel, where a Helvey is a single grind from the spine all the way down to the cutting edge. Um, that's what I like. Not everybody likes that. Some people use a... Um, uh, X-Acto knife. Some people use a box cutter. 
to do their carvings is what you prefer. But if you're going to be using this knife for long periods of time, the main thing is, is you want a comfortable handle. You want a good sharp blade that will hold its edge for a long time. Um, this one I've not done anything to. Um, I may have hit it with the buffing wheel, but that's about it. And, and this one's the same way. I hit it with the leather strop just whenever I got it. I carved for a little bit and found that I needed to strop it. So I hit it with my leather wheel and then I hit it with the buffing wheel and it did just fine. So as far as cutting wise, I mean, they both do the same thing. They both make nice, clean cuts. They're two different knives. As you can tell by the blade shape. About the only way that we could really compare this between, and there's many, many different carving knives, is to re-grind this. Regrind this one and regrind this one. So we get that bevel that we're used to if you're using a heavy knife or if you're using a Drake knife. Um, the Drake knives, they don't have a bevel. They're just like the heavy. You can see it here. The straight grind from the spine to the cutting edge. Um, had this guy for a long time. So, I mean, I, I own several uh, I, if I had to guess I'd say it was 50 plus different carving knives so they all don't cut the same some of them cut better than others uh, we can even look at the you know the Mike Shipley carving knives going right here same thing again it's a straight grind from the spine down to the cutting edge um, so did one copy another? Ah, that's a difficult question. Handle style? Eh, they're pretty close. Let's look at the three of them. Even though they're different blades, the handle styles are very similar. But who copied two? I mean, Flex, Flex Cut's been around for quite a while, so I've had this whale tail for, for quite some time. Helvey's got some whale tail knives. Um, the thing is, is it really shouldn't make any difference who copied who. It's about how does the knife work when you're cutting a piece of basswood. Both these knives do the job. I, I think that if I was to take this knife, would, would the edge last as long as the carbon steel? No. But if I regrind this, to get a single bevel from the spine to the cutting edge, it would probably do pretty good. Likewise with this one. Um, don't get wrapped up in, you know, the manufacturer and who's who. Buy a knife that's comfortable, that you like. I mean, the new over knife just just it does just fine. Um, was I able to carve a complete kit with it? Yes, I was. Um, as a matter of fact, in one of the previous videos, let me pull it out here, I was able to carve the Christmas tree pattern with using this knife and this knife. So, no issues whatsoever. There's a lot of knives out there that are not good. Beavercraft, New Urban, uh, in, in my book, I would consider them equal. Um, a lot of people probably won't agree with me, but it, it, it's okay. If you're a beginner and you're just getting started in carving without spending hundreds of dollars, this is a good kit. This will make the cuts. It'll let you produce things and see if you like wood carving. Uh, if you don't, you're not out that much money. If you do, then you go crazy and you buy all kinds of tools, whether it's, you know, 
file or Stubai or FlexCut or Dockyard or Helvi or whatever it is, you know, you make those decisions. Not everybody is the same. I like OCC tools. A lot of people don't consider those a professional wood carving tool. They like uh, file or they like flex cut or I mean, I've even I'm, I've got every uh, shaft tool that they make. They all have a purpose. They all have something that I need when I'm creating a carving. So don't don't get caught up in the brand names. Don't get caught up in, um, well, you're not a true carver if you don't have X. That's not the case. I can make a carving the same with these tools as I can a flex cut or a Helvi uh, or a Drake or you know any any other brand. Now I will say this: there are some brands out there that are just total junk and uh you know you no matter what you do you 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 can never keep them sharp but for these two knives i've not had any issues with them um they both cut uh, the carving like i wanted them to so hopefully this will um help the beginners when they're trying to do research and try to figure out you know, what knife should I get? Should I get Beavercraft? Should I get a new Urban knife? Should I get a Flex Cut? Should I get a Helvy? Um, whatever fits your budget. That That's the biggest thing that I would say and what is comfortable for, to you. Um, this knife is fairly comfortable for long periods of time. Their other knife, their, what I would call a chip carving knife, is fairly comfortable. Um, the new Urban fairly comfortable for long periods of use. It's It depends on the handle style, the blade, the purpose that you need these knives for. So what it comes down to is make sure if you're a beginner that you're finding a knife that is comfortable for you to hold for extended periods of time if you're going to be doing a lot of carving. Whether it's a Drake, a Helvy, Beavercraft, OCC Tools, New Urban, or FlexCut. Many different handles, many different styles of blades, many different lengths of blades. Just make sure that you find a knife that is comfortable for you to hold and to do the carving that you that you want to do. Um, ultimately, if I'm doing relief carving, I'm probably not going to use any of these knives. I'm going to use something totally different. But if you're doing caricatures or just general carvings like animals or... You know, caricatures, I'll use my Helvy a lot. Um, the kit that I reviewed, I used the new Urban Knife. I used two different styles of new Urban Knife to carve a Christmas tree. Each one had a purpose. So don't get wrapped up in brand names. I mean, I have several. Um, that, that, that's just part of being a wood carver is you try different things. You try different knives, try different styles. Um, they all have a purpose. For creating your carving so hopefully this helps clear up a little bit of that um, don't be afraid to purchase one and 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 try it out and if you don't like it spend some time and reshape it reshape the blade if you don't like this this big bevel that you have on this thing reshape it uh, make it a knife that you can use that's your own it's fine um, but a lot of people have a tendency to get wrapped up in it's like, well, I've got a Helvy or I've got a Drake or I've got an OCC or I've got a Flex Cut or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, that's their personal preference. I will use any tool necessary to get the carving done. Some of them will work better than others. Okay. But I'm still completing that carving. So hopefully this helps you. And until next time, happy carving.